Last week, Mr. President, naguluntang ang buong bayan ng palabasin sa periodiko na ipapa, uh, papalabasin na si uh, Antonio Sanchez. Now, Mr. President, this man, Sanchez, was convicted of nine, K, uh, of nine counts of life imprisonment. Seven, seven counts, seven counts, Mr. President. Now, Mr. President, uh, not only, sinabi ko nine counts because there were two counts also of murder, Mr. President, uh, against Nelson and Rickson Peñalosa, Mr. President. So, nine counts of conviction and life in prison, uh, reclusion perpetual, Mr. President. Now, all of a sudden, because of a new law, uh, I guess it slipped through the cracks, and this is where I argue for uh, for a budget for communication, effective communication, because if the people don't know, we will all be hoodwinked. Madadaya tayo. Magkakaroon ng uh, capricious, abusive uh, conduct, Mr. President. Ito mga taong na andito. Uh, Mr. President, can you please uh, part the two gentlemen? They're behaving in a very, uh, uh, you know, uh, they're both, I know they love one another, but they don't have to embrace uh, each other in front of me, Mr. President. I'm scandalized. <laughs> yes, I, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why a lot of senators are attracted to Senator Gatsayan. Is it because she's anak ng mayaman? No, because he because he's single. Tell me, na mayaman. Okay. <laughs> having uh, uh, having set aside <laughs> having set aside this this distraction, Mr. President. Let me try and get back to my point, Mr. President. My point, Mr. President, is simply this. Kung bigla na lang tayo magugulantang at papalabasin ang isang preso na dapat talaga mabulok na dapat dyan sa kasabaan na kanyang ginawa, Mr. President. E eh, kinapingilan natin yan, Mr. President. Because yung batas na ginawa ay tila may pagkukulang. Pero bago ako umabot doon, hasabihin ko muna po, bakit po capricious? Hasabihin may good conduct. Eh, unang-una, in the same law, they were supposed to make an implementing rules and regulations na dapat, uh, Meron silang computerized records. Up to now, Mr. President, there is no computerized records. Pagka computerized ang record, Mr. President, malalaman na natin kung uh, ilang taon na nagsisilbi yung tao yon at kung ano ang conduct na ginagawa niya sa preso, Mr. President. Kung wala yan, haka-haka, and nobody is ever going to find out whether in fact there was good conduct served, Mr. President. Kaya, to my mind, and I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm raising this point para to clarify and for that matter amend the law if necessary na talagang kasama na yung creation of, uh, of a law uh, of a provision that will make sure that there are statistics, statistical records not only in Montilupa, Iwai, or Davao or other uh, national penitentiaries but also in the matter of all cities all provincial jails, Mr. President na pag may pumasok, automatically, it will go into the computer, it will prevent all kinds of abuses upon children who could be minors because they could be jailed and right away, uh, may red flag yun, may bata sa, uh, sa city or sa provincial jail na nasasama, nasasama na sa mga preso, at nakikita natin kung hinihiwala yun. This is very important, Mr. President, that we have to digitalize, digitalize all records in the National Penitentiary as well as in all detention prisons, Mr. President. Now, if we do that, Mr. President, hindi tayo malulusutan na very capricious, lalo na, hindi ko naman sinasabi lahat ng uh, superintendent ng, ng uh, Montilupa. Mr. President, these people are always uh, in the uh, Montilupa prison and they, they interact with the prisoners. And even a lot of our jailers there have interacted to the point that they were enriching themselves by providing allowance of a... Uh, an operation of a franchise to hold the cell phone. Mr. President, I'm being uh, uh, facetious. Nagagamit nila yan. Or for that matter, binibigyan ng alawa sa TV. Katulad nung kay, kay uh, Mayor Sanchez, may TV. Flat iron TV. May air condition. Now, Mr. President, it really is a, a joke. You know, we keep talking about us as the representatives of the law here, but uh, it, it's a... <laughs> It, it is awful to allow this situation to continue. Did you have a comment, Mr. President? Yes, I, 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 I could not help but uh, laugh because you said flat iron. You mean flat screen? <laughs> a flat screen, Mr. President. 
I'm sorry, Mr. President. I'm glad that you and I agree because we're both uh, abiding husbands, Mr. President. We're used to flat irons, Mr. President. After the laundry, we have to use a flat iron. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have to put in a little humor once in a while. Uh, uh, and I'm glad that you did that, Mr. President, because I get uh, overwhelmed by this uh, emotional, uh, uh, that really challenges the emotion on how we as lawyers or we as lawmakers here are challenged by the fact that the intention of the law is totally set aside by the selfish, by the greedy, and by the corrupt, Mr. President. So it is important, Mr. President, that we address this as soon as possible, that we demand that they be created, and if necessary, we put a budget uh, into the uh, Bureau of Prisons and the prison system due to the uh, uh, national to the, uh, uh, the those in charge of provincial jails and city jails that they should have a budget for such a thing. We can eradicate a lot of the negatives, a lot of the abuses by putting this in the law. Second, Mr. President, I'd like to commend the President because uh, he he came out with a statement saying that he would not allow the uh, uh, this to be applied to Mr. Uh, uh, Sanchez, Mr. President. Uh, I'm glad that he did that because it uh, disabuses the mind of the people that there was a cabal that was already perpetrating them, especially uh, when there were a lot of comments made on this issue uh, by uh, people in the cabinet, and there were certain people in the cabinet that uh, lawyered for uh, Mr. Sanchez, and I think he also made a statement that he is setting aside, he's not supporting the decision to uh, uh, put him uh, out of prison because he has already earned good conduct discharge, Mr. President. Having said that, Mr. President, if we go to the law also, Mr. President, there seems to be uh, a, a doubt, Mr. President, because the law, as, uh, as done in 2014, speaks about uh, preventive uh, uh, imprisonment, that they can deduct for preventive imprisonment. But it is quiet in the case of actual imprisonment in Montinlupa. Heinous crimes is applied uh, in the uh, provision on preventive imprisonment, but it is not stated in the law itself on the actual service of sentence. So there could be a hiatus. All of course, we know every doubt shall be uh, uh, done in favor or shall, be, shall favor the accused, Mr. President. I don't know if it really applies here because this is a, already a case of uh, uh, finito. But however, when you have a law, every intent of the law uh, will be applied to those who are uh, accused or could be serving sentence. Now, I'm not ready to debate on that matter. I've not researched that extremely well. However, Mr. President, I would like to say that we must make a clarification on that, Mr. President. If it is meant to apply to those serving sentence, then let us say so, but there can be no doubt. And then also, Mr. President, on another point, and this is I think a very important point. We cannot allow the Montelupa superintendent or the superintendent of prisons to be the one to say he has served good conduct. It is subject to checks and balance like the Board of Pardons and Parole. Mr. President, are we aware? I'm sure in your long service in the country, Mr. President, uh, you've seen uh, people who are serving their time beyond their time. Tinatago yung karpeta. In Carpeta is the record of the business. I'm sure the Secretary of, former Secretary of Justice, Senate President, uh, Senator Dillon, is aware of that. Nanawa wala yung Carpeta, at nagsisilbi yung tao, hindi na lumalabas yung tao. O meron yun mga tao dyan na ayaw na lumabas. Pero naandun pa rin sa loob ng kulungan dahil ayaw talaga nilang lumabas. So dapat palabasin yung mga yan. Uh, also, Mr. President, meron mga kaso doon sa mga city jail, sa provincial jail, na nagsiserve sila, na under detention sila, then sa bagal ng ating mga kaso, na ating paglilitis ng kaso, ay nalampasan nila yung, yung uh, nakaugmang sentensya sa kanila, Mr. President. They have already passed the, uh, uh, the uh, sentence that would have been given them. So, if you have all this data in a data bank that we can take a look at, we can prevent injustice uh, to our people. Now, Mr. President, can you imagine the injustice done to the family of uh, Irene Sarmenta and uh, uh, young Gomez, Mr. President? Aba, imagine, Senator Sibiri was uh, very upset. A lot of us were very upset. I saw the Facebook accounts. Mr. President, let us look at the family. My God, this is a monster that perpetrated its evil deed and was having a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde mentality. I cannot forget him when he was being brought 
uh, before the sentencing and he was having a rosary he must have had three or four rosary I'm just exaggerating and he was talking about Mama Mary but when he was convicted he said expletives on the way out you know the PI word uh, how can you say that this guy can be uh, uh, rehabilitated now Mr. President I am not one who's saying that we should not give a second chance. I believe in that. But that has got to be proven beyond any doubt, Mr. President, to assuage and alleviate the suffering of the people whose families they snuffed out of happiness, they, they snuffed happiness out of, Mr. President. And therefore, they should not be allowed to do so because the people are owed justice, Mr. President. And if they get away with this, kundi naging vigilant ang mga tao, Kundi umalmalahat tayo mga senador dyan at mga tao. Abay, baka nakalusot. And I'm glad the President took action, Mr. President. Because it clarifies that we are a government of laws and that of men. That uh, justice must be done, uh, though the heavens fall, Mr. President. Now, Mr. President, the other thing I would like to propose again here is uh, that we help the Supreme Court uh, make sure, and we're not going to interfere because this is a principle already that they're doing, I sit in the Judicial Bar Council, I also lobby with them to say we have to really make the continuous uh, hearings work because otherwise, Mr. President, you said, I 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 uh, clear and passionate about this matter, Mr. President. I will now withdraw. I will allow myself the, uh, the uh, privilege of answering the questions of our distinguished senators here, Mr. President. There have been a lot of privileged speeches uh, because of this speech, Mr. President, and I'm glad that uh, we have tickled the imagination and the mind and the intellect of our fellow senators, and I'm very happy about that. I'm proud about that because a lot of things came out in the woodwork. I just wanted to say, Mr. President, justice to my mind is uh, absolutely violated when those who are victims of injustice finally give up on it. To me, this, that's the absolute, Mr. President. I remember, Mr. President, I became very, very passionate and very, very aggressive and to the point of really uh, making sure that I walk my talk all the time was when the assassins of my father, and remember my father, uh, they, there were three attempts on my father's life, and no, none of the masterminds were ever captured, Mr. President. Some of them were put in jail. And the final cut of it, uh, of it all was when then President Marcos, Siguro may lumakad, kinomute yung sentence from death to life. Kinomute, kinomute. The, the feeling, Mr. President, of uh, this representation as well as my family, I, I, I cannot speak for my family, but to me, it really hit my chest like a like a battering ram, Mr. President, because I thought that what well, justice did to Subhasanya. But then, of course, later on in my years, I've said, okay, the ultimate punishment is really to rot until you finish your term uh, in life imprisonment, which I think is the a more difficult uh, penalty, not only for them, but for their families as well. But the point of this uh, conversation, Mr. President, today, and I really appreciate all the comments, is that we try to make justice work. There will be people who will say, no second chance, that's a valid point. But we must make it work, Mr. President. We cannot accept, for example, when I went, or I've been there several times in my work as Red Cross, nakikita ko, may mga preso doon, may mga malalaking kama, may tennis courts, and these are friends of ours, Mr. President. I just uh, shook my head, Mr. President, uh, out of disbelief. I kept my mouth shut. I wonder by keeping my mouth shut, whether I was really perpetrating an injustice. This guy, Sanchez, I saw, uh, and uh, approached me from the back. And uh, he was, as uh, Senator Dillon said, gr uh, 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 garbed in civilian clothes, uh, and had a cell phone and all that, Mr. President. And they were having two parties when I was there, Mr. President. Lechon was being served left and right. There was even somebody in my last visit, somebody was playing the saxophone and there was a uh, a party going on while he was uh, playing the saxophone. Something is wrong, Mr. President. I don't know what the solution is. I've always said that perhaps we should carve out the uh, Bucor and put several prisons uh, uh, in the regions, Mr. President. That way it will be more controllable. I think the solution of 
uh, trying to uh, drain the swamp, so to speak, through this law that was the attempt, I suppose, of Senator Santiago, and I think it was a, a well-intentioned. That is also necessary. And during uh, uh, the speech of uh, uh, Senator uh, Zubiri, uh, Senator Bato came by and I told him, hindi ba pwedeng gawin yun? Kasi sir, sabi niya ganun, pagka tinanggal niyo yung tattoo, nag-uumpisa yan doon sa detention center pa lang. And I know that being a mayor, pagka kaya't nila doon sa taas, meron na silang barkada, meron silang protection. So we are perpetrating the fraternity system of criminals. Now perhaps if we go forward, if we say later on, no, no good conduct if you are tattooed or if you are a member of the gang, baka magbago. But you cannot do that and I, I don't think it's going to work either uh, completely, but you could have more uh, jails, uh, more penitentiaries in the countryside. And perhaps they should be put to use by planting and, uh, uh, you know, uh, making sure that they can get food, prison food, better prison food. And that's where you get good conduct also, Mr. President, when they plant or when they start studying for uh, a skill. So, Mr. President, that's all I wanted to say today. I, I am uh, happy that... Uh, we are, we are not angry shaking our fists here, but I think we're looking for a solution to all these problems. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, dear colleagues. Aboy boyo.